everybody welcome back um, you will notice today's video is going to be slightly different of course as you can see this box is already open um, but this is an unboxing of a different sort um, what I have here today is not a CNR um, weapon um, or pistol whatever you want to call it um, this is one that uh, it's not 50 years old or older but as you'll notice I have this necklace laying on top here um, for those of you that might recognize this, this is a Byzantine cross, also known as a Jerusalem cross. A uh, very nice piece of handmade jewelry I picked up when I was in Israel last year. And the reason I had it laying with this box is it sort of relates to what's inside the box. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this. So, what I wanted to show everybody today is what I just picked up at one of my local gun shops. Now this is a Jericho 941 FS. Now the interesting part about this pistol is this is the more compact version so it's got roughly the 3.8 inch barrel. It's not the full size however it is the all steel frame construction and of particular note this is the IMI version not the later IWI version. This is also the single action slash double action. Um, I got this from Sarco Inc. Um, out of Pennsylvania and the one they showed on their website was sort of rough looking. Actually it looked like it had been painted and some of the paint was starting to come off. Um, so I took a, took a gamble on it. They had these for $3.99 and I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. It's just when they were imported and there was an influx of them, I should have bought one and I just didn't do it for whatever reason. But you live and learn. Um, so like I said, they had these out there for $3.99. Once again, this is the single slash double action. Has the 1911 style frame mounted safety. Um, of course came with one magazine. This is indeed unloaded, by the way. Um, and of course, um, as many of you probably know, these take these will take the CZ-75 magazines as this originally started life as a CZ-75 essentially. Um, of course, the Israelis have their own twist to it and they obviously beef this gun up a lot more than what a traditional CZ-75 is. Um, so like I said, when I ordered it, I was a little concerned with the condition, but as you can see, this gun has been shot, has been handled very little, but I will show you real quick the import mark. Now, <laughs> that's kind of electro penciled on there. It's kind of, kind of ugly, but you know, I didn't see any place else where you could get these for $3.99. As a matter of fact, um... I want to say I saw them through Atlantic Firearms. This same exact pistol actually for $550. So $399, in my opinion, is a very good deal. You'll notice it has the standard three dot sights, nothing special. Um, and of course, it is unloaded. Just so all these are going to be unloaded. Anything I handle like this, it's an unboxing or whatever. It is, of course, a single action, double action. There's your double action. And then, of course, I mean, your single action in there, of course, is your double action. Um, so, just want to show you guys real quick. Um, try to give you a close up of this. But you see, there is almost no wear. It's actually quite, quite nice. A lot better than I expected. Of course, you see the made in Israel above that right or that left grip there. Then you see Jericho 941 FS, Israeli Military Industries. Um, over here on the right side, you know, it's just got your standard warning, your 9 by 19 caliber. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, we're going to take this slide off and take a quick look at this. So to disassemble these, you'll notice there are two dots back here, one on the frame, one on the slide. And what you want to do makes it easier to cock the hammer and do this, but you want to line those up. And once you get it lined up, since these since this tab is very hard to push through, just take the base plate of your mag and press down, and then you can get a hold of it and pull it out. And then quite simply, what's gonna happen after that 
because it's just going to slide forward. Now, we want to look at the condition on the inside where the rails right on the inside of the frame here. And you can see there is very, very little wear here. Um, very little wear back here on the hammer. Um, but let's take a quick look at the internals of this slide. This barrel, you know, a lot of times you'll notice on the hood, on those locking lugs, you'll see wear marks, but there's really not much here. Even if you notice that feed ramp there, there's not much wear there either. Um, it's just a really, really cool looking gun. I mean, it's in excellent shape. Um, additionally, what's really cool about these is they have polygonal rifling, so they're highly accurate, and you'll see where the slide rides on the inside of that, or the, where the rails ride on the inside of the frame here. You'll see there's really not much wear there to speak of. Um, there's very, very little. Um, this thing was definitely not shot much. And of course the spring, it's not rusted. You know, your guide rod, you know, there's nothing wrong there whatsoever. So in my opinion, um, this particular 941 FS was shot very little. Um, and I'm really excited about that actually. Um, I just might have to pick up a second one because you just don't see these very often, at least not anymore. Like I said, you know, I want to say back in the 90s there was a pretty big influx of them and you could find them. I mean, they're pretty common. But it's just you don't see them anymore. Um, especially where I live, you don't see them. You might see them maybe closer to like some military installations and stuff like that. Soldiers might like them. Um, but, you know, it's just a really, really cool pistol and in excellent shape. I mean, I have zero complaints. I want to say when I ordered this, Sarco had 13 of these in stock. At the time of this filming, they still had 12 of these in stock. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last, especially after I put this video out there. Um, you know, actually, I might have scratched that just a little bit when I removed it with the magazine base plate. Um, well, that kind of stinks. I probably did that. Oh well. But it's not, you know, it's not a safe queen. It's not perfect. But as you can see, the IMI logo there, and it is present on both sides. There is just a small nick here, which I may take this off, take a little bit of sandpaper, smooth that down. And of course, there's the there's the tag where it was tagged uh, from Sarco. Um, it looks like they got these back in in 2020, um, so that's interesting. This is obviously before this um, is this conflict that's going on right now. Um, but when I was in Israel, I think some of the soldiers still carried these. Uh, I think they had more of them were actually carrying Glocks or what appear to be Glocks. I mean, I wasn't going to walk up to one and be like, "Hey, what's that pistol you're carrying?" Because a lot of times with the with the holsters that they had, you just couldn't see it really well, and I wasn't going to get close enough to, you know, really ask questions, because um, I just didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to bug them, I didn't want to be, you know, a typical tourist, but yeah, there you have it, there is that Israeli Military Industries Jericho 941 FS, absolutely gorgeous pistol, now, one of the things about how these slides and frames fit together um, with the particular type of rail system that they have is they are extremely tight. I mean there is almost absolutely no wiggle there. I mean you can grab a 1911, you can take your your slide and you can actually wiggle it on some of them and many other guns as well but on this particular style pistol as well as the CZ-75s because this is a CZ-75 clone essentially. It started out life as that. Well at least the, the frame started out life as a CZ-75 um, it's, I mean, it's, these things are rock solid. Now, they are very heavy. Now, I have pretty much large hands. Um, I wear, yeah, I know you guys laugh about my blue gloves. You know, I wear large size gloves like that. Um, and this is how it fits in my hand. This is, of course, like I said, this is not the full size model. This is the compact. Um, not the 4.4 inch, but the 3.8 inch. And it's a really nice pistol. Many of you, um, depending on how old you are, you probably grew up with some uh, particular uh, anime cartoon called Cowboy Bebop. Um, the character in there actually had a full-size 941R, I believe. 
and the difference being that that R had a slide mounted safety slash decocker up here but other than that the mechanics of the pistol were the same and of course it was a full size rather than this compact uh, from what I understand guys correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong um, the the grip size the length is pretty much the same between the full size and the compact so they will take um, you know those I think 15 all the way up to 17 round mags I have heard that the Metgar mags are quite hard to get in here uh, you really have to slap them in um, but if you can get the CZ75 ones, that's the ones I would go for personally, and I'll probably pick up a couple of those maybe from Century Arms because I know they still have them. But the only thing that I noticed that was wrong with this one was right here on this grip screw. There is a little bit of rust present there, but I can get a set of brand new grip, grip screws if I want. But I really, really like this pistol. I mean, it's just nice and solid and really tight fitting really well machined um, just really cool so I just wanted to share that with you guys today um, like I said you gotta get this shipped to your FFL this is not a CNR obviously um, but like I said I've been wanting one for a while really cool guns hoping to get it out when we get some better weather do some shooting with it I'm curious to see the, the grouping on these I've heard they're really nice um, and they do have at least in single action you will notice a little bit of take up here but once you get to the break to the wall it's pretty light um, now your double action your double action pull you can go out there's plenty of other videos where guys actually put uh, trigger gauges on them or pull meters whatever you want to call them and um, they check this so if you want to get an idea of what the pull is on that you can go out and check others others videos on that um, but like I said, this is the single action slash double action. It's not the single action. I only notice how the trigger sits farther forward. That's an immediate dead giveaway on what type it is. I prefer this style because I don't want to have to always walk around with it like that. Um, you can carry it 1911 style if you want, but um, it just provides you a little bit more versatility. Um, but anyway, there you have it. There is that Jericho 941 FS. Um, like I said, um, Sarka Link has at least 10 of these, I think, currently um, for $3.99, which I think is a great deal. So, thank you all my subscribers. Thanks everybody for your likes, your comments, your shares. Greatly appreciate it, and it helps the channel in more ways than you can imagine. Of course, you know, this is not being sponsored by Sarko. I'm not paid by Sarko. Oops, I went and bought this myself, as with pretty much everything else on my channel. Um, you know, self-funded. So, as you guys know, small name YouTube channel. I am self-funded. I don't have any major sponsorship or any of that good stuff. Would love to, but yeah, it is what it is. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, you guys have a great day.